Hello, it's Beverly with the Intuitive Interior, January 2023 edition. This I Ching reading has been uh, rather intriguing. It doesn't surprise me because we're in that trans transformation zone uh, of moving from the Yang water tiger year to the yin water rabbit year. You'll be hearing a lot about that uh, coming up in the next few weeks, especially as the Chinese uh, holiday, the Lunar New Year cycle starts on January 22nd and 23rd. <clears throat> in feng shui terms, we don't start doing any of the changes until February 4th. We just kind of, as a group, apparently settled on that date. So, hey, I just do what my teachers tell me. So, <laughs> um, and since I've had quite a number of teachers and they all pretty much agree that every fourth is the day, that's what we do. So because we are in this transition period, it really doesn't surprise me that these are the cards that showed up. Uh, so first and foremost, let's begin with this. This is number six. It's the conflict card. Uh, conflict has... Um, Kan, which is the water symbol under here, the water trigram. And then the um, yang metal is on the top, and that is chan. So we've got uh, water under here and yang metal on top. It's kind of like a, a lot of um, rushing water coming straight at a dam and you know just trying to overcome it. That's, that's that conflict. Uh, the words on this are will to power, hostility jealousy, stubbornness, aggression, fear, competitiveness, and controversy. January 6th, at least in the U.S., has a lovely new um, association with conflict. That is a very outward manifestation of conflict. However, the focus line on this one is focus line three when it's at the bottom. Uh, so it goes counting from the bottom up. It's one, two, three, and then four, five, six. When it's on the bottom three, that's more of an internally related issue. When it's on the top three, that's more of an external uh, manifestation of whatever that is. And so because this is in the the number, you know, the, the top line of, of the internal world, it's kind of how we are beginning to interface with the rest of the world around us. So one, there's a couple of things I wanted just to, to throw out here is that uh, says uh, when, when one's mind is, basically when one, one's mind is made up uh, and they get together with somebody else whose mind is made up, it, it's going to naturally lead to conflict. So it requires people to be, take a step above and take a, a different perspective. The uh, reading um, in my little book here is opening up to the possibility of unification helps remove the blinkers that keep your vision limited and make it possible for old rigidities to give way to flexibility. By doing this homework of self-work, greater understanding is possible, self-respect increases, and a more spontaneous approach to daily life begins. You can have differences of opinion and still find value in being in relationship with those that you have conflict with. You don't have to have everybody in your world agree with you. In fact, it's better if you don't. So that's the first card. The second card, which as I kind of alluded, we are in that turning point is actually the turning point. <laughs> so this is, um, says the return, the start of a new cycle, the right timing, regeneration, inevitability, and steady improvements. The hexagrams here, this bottom one is um, Zhen. It is uh, Yang wood. Follow with this other on the top is Kan. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Kan. Kun. Kun. It's the Yin Earth. So you now have this. This uh, uh, like think about it as a seed, something that's growing, something that is that is in the in the Earth. Because again, this you've got this 
uh, yang wood energy, which think about a tree. It's like, you know, this shoot that's coming straight up out of the earth. And this yin earth is like soil. So yes, this is a time when you're breaking out of that seed, you're pushing through the the earth and you are getting ready to, you know, start fresh, start a new, start a new cycle. Um, this one is focus line five, being fully present in this moment and each moment as it comes creates an inner spaciousness where everything moves a little slower and with more grace. You might be aware that there's no urgency to go anywhere or do anything, but take care that this easiness does not fall back into complacency. The new growth cycle that is coming needs your alertness as well as your relaxation, your intelligence as alongside your intuition. So this turning point Again, this could be something that you've started um, work-wise uh, that has kind of hinged on some internal reflection. So that may be what this card is alluding to. Um, the, uh, the last card actually is one that um, it's, it's a new one that I, I haven't had come up in any of these readings yet. And it's the receptive. The receptive is the yield, yielding yin principle. It is devoted, patient, supportive, obedient, responsive, intuitive, earthy, and mother. Does that look like a pregnant mom to you? It kind of, kind of looks like my belly, even though it has been well, quite a number of years since a last child, but hey. That's what happens to a female's body when they start, you know, growing humans inside them. So uh, this is also focus line five. And it was very interesting. I was just um, glanced at this. There was a, a real quick article that I looked at by Adam Grant, who does a, a lot of um, um, psychology work with or organizational psychology. <laughs> Um, and he's talking about one of the biggest things that is going to help a person's career down the road these days is being a good follower. And that's really what this card is, uh, is talking about. It says, although you may be in a prominent position, your function is subordinate to that of others. To remain in harmony with the way the Tao is moving now, be content to be supportive from the background. Let go of any nagging fears that you'll be overlooked or that your contribution isn't respected. Keeping a low profile will bring success. That always sounds so counterintuitive to what we are being told all the time um, in business. And, and I was like, no, we got to be out there. You got to, you know, social media, you have to post all the time. Well, I'm sorry. I got stuff, I, other things I want to do too. So, but here's one last little paragraph, a little, little like poem almost. It says, the receptive metamorphoses into the creative, which by the way is the most yang card. There is no advance, neither are there setbacks. Accepting this strengthens fortitude and patience in order for there to be growth, there has to be fertile soil because in order, and in order for the soil to be fertile, it has to be willing to be broken, you know, and have the, the, the crust on the top of the earth be broken by the seeds growing up. Um, and then when everything has finished growing, think about in gardening terms, the plant, will then decompose going back into the receptive earth the, to nourish it. And that's the cycle. So much of life, just it, everything goes straight back to how nature works. But anyway, so this is the general reading for uh, January 5th through February 3rd. So remember, February 4th is when the change officially goes uh, goes into effect for the 2023 uh, energies. And 
underneath this video, I will have a link to my 2023, um, my 2023 uh, update. Or maybe I'll just put that in a different video or maybe both. Anyway, I hope that helps help you have a wonderful 2023. And don't make any resolutions that you wouldn't make at any other time because there's really nothing magical about January 1st. There's always magic and there's always opportunity for growth. Have a great rest of your day.